Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pricey B Roblox Studio tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to learn how to detect a keyboard key press and a mouse button click in Roblox. Let's get started by going to our starter player, starter player scripts, click on the plus sign. We're going to add a local script. Keep in mind for this process you must use a local script. A regular script is not going to work. In your local script just put in the following lines. On the first line here, I'm just declaring my user input service where I'm going to use the input begin event of the user input service to detect when a player clicks on a mouse button or presses a keyboard button. These two parameters are automatically passed in. The first parameter is the input object and the second parameter is just a Boolean value. Let's first look at the input object parameter. So we're going to go in here. Inside our function, we're going to print input. We're going to print a property of that input object. It's called user input type. Let's now play and take a look. First, I'm going to open up my output window. And now let's play and take a look. So I haven't done anything yet, so there's nothing inside the output window. Now I'm going to do a right click, right click on the mouse button. And you see button 2 is pressed. Now I'm going to do a left click. Left click is button 1. So left click is button 1, right click is button 2. I'm going to press down on the wheel in the middle. And the wheel is button 3. Next we're going to see how we can attach a left click to an action inside the game. So in your code, just enter the following lines. Here I just inserted an if statement. So I'm checking the user input type when it is equal to mouse button 1. I'm going to print left click. Let's play and take a look. All right, I'm going to do right click first. Nothing is printed. I mean, left click is not printed. That, that is the wheel. And now I'm going to do a left click. And it printed left click. It has detected that I used a left click on the mouse. Now how do we detect a keyboard key press? So I'm gonna press a keyboard key now. I'm gonna press E and all it printed is keyboard. So it knows I, I selected a keyboard key but it doesn't know specifically which key is pressed. I'm gonna press R, T. You see each time it printed keyboard key is pressed because this is the user input type. So it knows you use a keyboard, but there is no specific information on which key was pressed. Let's go back to the script. The input object that is being passed in, there is another property. So I can print input and the property name is called key code. And this key code is going to tell you specifically which key on your keyboard is pressed. Let's play and take a look. I'm going to put focus in the game. And now I'm going to press the W. There you see enum key code W, right? I'm going to press E, R, spacebar, left control. That's how you detect which key on the keyboard is pressed. How do you connect that to an action inside a game? We're going to put in another if statement. Here I'm saying if key code equals to E, then I'm going to print E press. Let's play and take a look. So I'm going to press the R key here. Nothing is printed. I mean, it's not printing E press, W, left control. And now I'm going to press the E key. There it is. E press is printed. Finally, let's look at the game process parameter here. So I'm going to go down here. And again, that game process parameter is a Boolean value. I'm just going to print out game process. And let's play and take a look. I'm going to click into the game and you can see game process is false. So if I click anywhere, whether it's a left click, right click, the middle wheel click, they're all false. But if I click on a GUI, for example, if I click on the chat box GUI here, icon here, right? You see it's true, the game process parameter returned true. 
And if I click over here at this, it's true. And if I undo it, it's true. And if I click on my name here, it is true. So the game process uh, kind of know if you want to perform an action inside the game or if you want to select some item, some GUI inside the game. And the same goes for the, the keyboard, the keys. So the game process knows if you're chatting, right? So if I'm inside the chat box now, right? And I'm chatting, I say, hello. Look, each time I hit a key, it returns true. But if I'm outside the chat box, right? Let me close the chat box. If I'm outside the chat box and I press the same exact key, hello, each time it's going to return false. Uh, with, with the exception for the O key and the I key, I believe. So O key is to zoom out. So that returns true for the game process. And I key is to zoom in. That also returns true. How do we use the game process parameter inside our game? Normally, what you do is you check it first here. So the first line here, you're going to say if game process, then return. Basically, if game process is true, means you're chatting or you're clicking on the GUI, you want to exit out of this function. You, you don't want to process anything in here. So you do a return to exit out. Otherwise, then you go in here and then you, you would check all your mouse click, right? And then you check all the, uh, the key press. Um, you put the logic in here inside this function to perform a certain action that you want to do when a player presses a key, for example. And before we play again, let me just clean this up a little bit. So I'm just going to remove these print statements. I'm going to remove this one. So we're only going to print left click when I use a when I do a left click on the mouse. And let me remove this one. And we're only going to print E press when I press the E key. And I'm going to remove the last print statement here. The game process, again, we're going to use that to exit out of the function, but we're not going to print it. Let's now play and take a look. I'm going to need to open up my output window again. And now I'm going to do a right click. Nothing is printed. I'm going to click with the, the scroll wheel. Nothing is happening. But now I'm going to do a left click. And you see, left click is printed. If I click on these things, nothing happens, right? Let's now take a look at the chat here. So I'm going to go inside the chat. I'm going to press the H key. Nothing happens. I'm going to press the E key. Nothing happens. L, L, O, nothing happens. But if I do the same over here, I go outside the chat box. I'm going to press the H key. Nothing happened. But now I'm going to press the E key and it printed E press. That's how you detect a keyboard key press and a mouse click in Roblox. Thank you all for watching. We will see you again soon. Take care, everyone.